Hello artists, in this video we're going to be learning how to draw an ice cream cone. I'm going to show you how to draw a cone where the ice cream is a swirl with two different flavors. I'll also show you how to do one that doesn't have the swirl and give you a few ideas of other toppings you can add instead. For supplies you need a white piece of paper, any size will do, a pencil to draw with, an eraser in case you make a mistake, a black marker or crayon if you would like to outline your drawing when you are done, and you need some sort of supplies for coloring. Simple markers and crayons will work just fine. If you would like to branch out and try pastels or paint, that is your choice. Let's get started on our ice cream. Before I begin to draw my ice cream cone, I want to make sure that I turn my paper vertically, straight up and down, so that I have enough room to draw a nice tall cone filled with ice cream without my drawing getting squished too small. I'm also gonna to wanna to start by making the cone first. So I'm gonna to move towards the middle of my paper and you can use your finger where you think the middle is to start you off and come down a little bit lower so that I still have room to make the nice ice cream swirl. I'm drawing with a marker in the video so that everyone can see but you should start with a pencil so you can erase in case you make a mistake. So first things first is I'm gonna start with the top of the cone and I'm going to make a straight line across. Not too long, because I don't want my cone to be too wide because then it'll look a little weird. I'm gonna come down on the sides with two short angle lines. Angled means they turn in a little bit. They're not exactly straight. I'm gonna connect those two lines straight across. That's the top edge of my ice cream cone. Underneath, I'm gonna go one and two straight lines and then connect those across with a longer straight line. Once again, I'm gonna draw on an angle once, twice, and connect with another straight line. I'm going to go underneath the top of the cone to make the bottom with two longer straight lines that are vertical, straight up and down, and then a line that's horizontal across that connects the two. I'm going to do that horizontal line one more time for the very bottom of the cone. So we're making a sugar cone for our ice cream. So that means it's the cone that has those vertical and horizontal edges to it. So in this shape for the bottom that I just made, I'm gonna go back and add some vertical lines spread out. And then I'm gonna cross over like a checkerboard with horizontal lines. Again, spread them out. There's the basic shape of your cone. Now that I have the cone, I can put the ice cream inside. So I'm gonna go back to the top edge of my cone and I'm gonna start by making a bumpy line. It's a wavy line, but a little more curvy. So I'm gonna make as many curves as I want my ice cream to be. You can make as tall as you want it. Once I get to the top, I'm gonna to put my pencil right at the end and I'm gonna make a last curve that bends over a little bit for the top of the ice cream. I'm then gonna take that line and swirl it inside. Right where I left off, I put my pencil and I'm gonna swirl back out. And then start right where you left off and make another one of those bumpy lines on the other side. And stop when you hit the other edge of the cone. So now I have the cone and the swirly shape for my ice cream. So the ice cream I'm gonna have in this cone is the one where two flavors are twisted together. Usually you see that with vanilla and chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pencil and on these little indents, these little V shapes that I made with my curvy line, I'm gonna connect them by making a wavy line across. So every time I see one of those little V shapes, I'm just gonna connect them with my pencil. 
there we go. So that gives me the first layer of swirls. Now I'm gonna swirl it so that two flavors can be in the cone. I'm gonna go to the top of my ice cream and start by making a vertical wavy line. There's the first part. Now I don't have to make this line match up. In fact, it looks better if the wavy lines don't match up because then it looks like the two flavors are really swirled together. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space and move to the side and make another wavy swirl. And I would keep going until I get to the bottom of the cone. So now I have my two flavors, one on this side, and one on that side that I can color in whatever two flavors I want. Now I can't have my ice cream cone floating in the middle of the air, so I'm gonna go back and put a line for a table. So I'm gonna go to the edge of the page, stop when I hit the ice cream cone, and pick up on the other side, just like that. When I have it all drawn, I am ready to color in my cone Again, if you want to outline with a black crayon or marker before you color, that's a great idea. But when you go to color it in, you can pick whatever two flavors you want your ice cream to have. I did chocolate and vanilla for mine because that's my favorite. But of course, you could always swirl whatever flavors you love together too. Make sure you color in your picture completely and neatly. Now, if you don't want to make an ice cream cone that has a swirl, there's other possible toppings that we can make. So here's one that I had drawn that has the shape of the ice cream. It has the cone, but I didn't make the swirl lines because I don't want to have a swirl in this. Maybe I want to make a cone that is dipped in fudge. So instead of making swirls inside my ice cream shape, I'm going to make a wavy line to make it look like there's fudge on top. And then I'll just connect those little V shapes that are left over so it looks like the ice cream is stacked underneath. Maybe I want to add a cherry on top. Here's a little circle and a curve and a little line for the stem. Maybe I want to put sprinkles that I can make different colors later on. Right? That's other possible toppings that you can add to your cone. So if you didn't want to make the swirl type ice cream, you could add maybe hot fudge or caramel or sprinkles or M&Ms and a cherry. Maybe there's um, a Oreo cookie or a graham cracker that you'd want to stick on top of the cone. Lots of possible toppings that you could add. If you want to make multiple cones and you have room on your white paper, you could always draw different cones side by side. And then you would just make the one big table line that went all the way across behind all of the cones so that it looked like they were sitting on the table and not floating in the air. Lots of possibilities for your ice cream drawings. Whatever you decide to do, take your time. Make sure you color it in neatly and completely. Remember, markers and crayons are perfect for coloring. If you want to try to paint or use pastels or a different type of material, that is up to you. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your ice cream creations.